Hello guys, good day. Welcome back to my channel, RIT Engineering. And for today's tutorial, I will be discussing the final output sub flexure and shear design not using the BVA script. So as you can see, this is our interface. Then I also created this uh, section na nag-indicate sa mga parameters natin. Then also the result. Okay, then we have here the main bars, the bottom and the top bars, if uh, doublish, uh, then, and the side, as you can see, this is the required stirrup spacing. And let's check the code. So, I separate the singly, so I created the singly, kasi yung dati, is double lang yun. So, sinipalit ko yung singly, then of course, the double, ito yung ginawa natin dati, then the shear design. Then, ito yung macro na gawin na ng module. So, ito, ilalak ko yung, yung ano natin, sheet, tapos ito yung password natin, ilalagay dyan. Then, iselect nya yung, ah, uh, na, I-design mo na niya as double. Kapag yung section is singly, singly yung i-lalabas na result niya. Ito. Pero kapag yung section type natin is double, ito yung ilalabas na result niya. Then, susundan ng share design. Okay. Okay, then, i-try natin to guys. Plus na natin yung visual basic interface. So let's input uh, given data here sa mga my color na cell na yan. So let's use 3000 pesos at 20.1 uh, 20.7 or 21 ganyan. Uh, let's say 20.7 MPA para sa concrete strength. 415 para grid 60 then is natin is 200,000 megapascal 0.9 dan naka default na yan para sa flexure strength reduction natin tapos yung fin naman ng para sa share doon ka na indicate sa script kung natatanda ninyo then let's use 250 with ng beam then 400 concrete cover of 40 then automatic Kali mag-calculate niya yung cover tension rebar, then also the compression. Then we provide, <clears throat> let's provide 16 of the four pieces na 16mm sa bottom bars. Then 16mm naman to uh, dalawang peraso sa top bars. Then let's use 10mm na uh, two-legged stirrups. Then let's use 150 uh, ultimate shear then actual then let's choose 100 na ultimate moment and designing the share uh, yung ginamit ko muna simplified formula for share design so pwede ko uh, pwede pa tayo gumawa next time para naman sa other method yung including na sa yung moment may may part na okay may part ng moment na sa calculation so for this for this design of the share pure share siya if you have a torsional force, so I'll consider it. Then, of course, we have here the uh, geometry. Ito hindi siya dynamic, guys. The representation lang yung number of bars na yan. Pero ito yung 60, 25. Iyan yung mag update guys. Then, of course, the dimension. Then, we have here the result. Ito yung bars, sa main bars, then the stirrups. Okay, then after we imported the data, click on the design button. Please wait. Beam section design is running. So, Beam section design completed. Completed na daw siya. Okay, kaso, ito, section, singular in for section siya. Kaso nga lang yung area ng bakal natin in school lang. 1.11 So, kailan natin mag-increase ng 
quantity ng bottom bar. So let's use 5. Please wait. Beam section design is running. Beam section design completed. Yeah. So for this section, that was for this capacity ng moment and share. 5 na diameter 16 mm is kaya na. So yung ratio natin is 0.89. So magandang ano na yan, design. Kaso yung titignan natin dito sa spacing natin ng stirrups is naka 80 mm. Kasi nga yung maximum natin is 85.5. Although ito, pwede niyang gamitin na 85 mm. Kaso yung sa formula natin doon is naka floor siya. Naka floor at 10 uh, digit, 10 numbers. So for the there is natin uh, 10 value. Ito yung lalabas niya. So kasi nga, yung 250 by 400 na may capacity 150, ito yung max niya. is 85.5. Uh, itry natin to ano, bawasan yung share natin. Please wait. Beam section design is running. Beam section design completed. So kapag 120 lang yung share natin, ultimate share with this section, ang maximum niya is 171. So yung magiging stirrups natin is 210, uh, two-legged na stirrups na T10 or diameter 10 at 170 mm spacing. Tapos meron tayong limang piraso na uh, bottom bars. Ito sa 250, pwede natin i-update later yung spacing kasi nga yung 5 na 16 na yan, medyo hindi na yan kasyas kapag one layer lang. Ibig sabihin, we need to create the uh, second layer. So para magkasya yung mga bakal natin with this allowable spacing. Okay? Then, ito, mapansin ninyo singly. So kapag increase ko to, let's use 200. Please wait. Beam section design is running. Beam section design completed. So double, naging double na siya guys. Pero kung titingnan natin dito, sobra or kulang yung mga bakal natin. So we need to increase. Ito pwede natin gawing 25 na apat. Yung setup naman, let's use, okay, 25 din pero let's use tatlo. Okay? Please wait. Beam section design is running. Beam section design completed. See? Almost 100% yung maka yung apat na 25. No, pero okay na yan, 97. At dito naman sa baba, sa taas, itry natin gawing dalawa lang. Please wait. Beam section design is running. Ayan, ah, hindi niya, hindi niya. Beam section design completed. Or pwede natin gawin to na 20 pero tatlo. Try natin. Please wait. Beam section design is running. No, pares pa rin. Beam section design completed. So pwede apat. Pero, Please wait. Beam section design is running. Instead of Beam section design completed. So mas epikto kasi nga 89% na yung mga gamit niya. So yun, ito ito na guys, pwede natin yung gamitin. Then uh, considering guys tension at bottom. So nandito yung tension natin. Ibig sabihin, ito yung kung mid span to Ito yung section natin. Kung so, so support, uh, we need to rotate this orientation. Kasi nga nasa taas na yung magiging tension natin pag sa support. Pag fix, uh, support kaya. Okay. Yun lang guys. Thank you for watching. And i-upload natin to kapag ma-fix na para sa mga members natin. Sa level to members, this is free. Okay. And next, uh, ito-check natin is cracking. 
cracking calculation. The lesson from Sakrak checking is deflection checking. Okay. So, yan. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share sa mga videos na na-upload natin, guys. And, ingat kayo palagi. God bless.